Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The name of the rivalry just seems so calm. The Sunflower Showdown. Trust me, they won't be handing out bouquets to one another. The Jayhawks and the Wildcats, Kansas and K-State get set for an in-state rivalry. That's going to do it for us. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming right at you. Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I are back at halftime. the ball set and he looks ready to kick this one deep to open up the ball game here we go folks this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback getting ready to take the field in their final home game in their career the final games always have an extra emotional element in them we'll see if they can channel that emotion and turn it into a victory so let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field That's a great tackle at the 34-yard line. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Nice run there by the tailback, and it's good for the first. This young man ran with some purpose there and picked up six yards. Receiver and he can't make the grab. From their own 40 yard line. Second down. Throws out on the screen, incomplete. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. First and 10, ball on the 49-yard line. Now he tries to buy some time. Looks like he's going to run. He's tackled right around the 36-yard line. The defense doesn't seem to have an answer right now. They might need to change up some of their schemes. And they make the stop at the 27. Strong on the tackle at the 27-yard line. That brings up second and Here's the eighth play of the series. third down and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker knocked out of bounds at the 21 that makes it first and tenth play of the drive A 
under pressure. Brought down and denied. Williams makes the tackle at the nine yard line. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. stuffed immediately. The defensive coordinator has a lot of confidence in his pass defense if he's releasing a safety to stop the run. This is the 12th play of this drive. Throws it and it's caught for the touchdown. the PAT. It was a 12-play, 76-yard drive, and the result, seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. Harris takes it at the four. He's got the corner, and he's tackled at the 42. Denman's coaching staff, the fans, I think everybody's been waiting to see this kid play, and here he is. He's a star quarterback. He seems to bring everything to the table. The crowd, I think, senses he's ready to have a big day. And when your star quarterback feels good playing at home and he gets off to a good start, some big things can happen to his offense. Gains his way to the 49-yard line. Kansas State's got a guy that's in a running for a national award here, Herbie. And, you know, the best time to talk about awards really is after you win them. Right now, it's all speculation. He's just got to play the game. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. the 48 yard line but well, you can really mess with an offense's game plan if you can take away their ability to run plays can have a psychological impact. It can damage a team's confidence if it keeps happening. And here's another third down. And he hits him hard. The 27 yard line. So the ground game picks up another first down. Well, this really works on a defensive psyche. You can see the guys on defense right now are just trying to catch their win. Once again, they had a chance to bring this drive to a halt, but were unable to do it. The offense really seems to be clicking right now. Got some open field. He gets out to about the 11-yard line. Hang on, everybody, because it looks like they came ready to play today. 7-0, Kansas. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Yeah. 
That was just smash mouth, helmet to chin football by the defensive line there. They dominated the point of attack. This is the 10th play of this drive. the gut. Denman picks up about four yards after keeping the ball on the option. It's fourth down and the offense is getting set to go for it. Fires quickly and they've got it. Touchdown. Quarterback went to one of his favorite targets that time. You bet, Brad. It's the big tight end who has nice hands. They rolled the dice and went for it on fourth, and I'm sure they're happy with the result. The extra point to tie this game up. And he adds the extra point. Kansas State. Kick this one off. And he'll return this one from the seven. He's taken down at the 25. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Scrambling. Tackle at the 28 yard line. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on the 28. Pulls down the catch and he's got room here. He's knocked out of bounds around the 38 yard line. That makes it first and 10. Here they come, and he's going to be sacked. Fred, not only did they give up a sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. If I'm an offensive coordinator, and especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page, and they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. to the receiver. They pick up good yardage that time on the pass play. Here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense. And in this case, he did. Nice job. It's third down and seven yards to go. Ball on the 40. He throws right, and that will make it fourth down. On third down, the defense was expecting the pass, and they defended the play very well in the secondary. Upshaw is the deep man awaiting the return. Brought down at the 30. They were lucky to prevent a big return there. Yep, that could have been big if he could have gotten a few more blocks and was able to find the seam. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. And he's taken down at the 38. Nice job by the running back, and that'll get him seven, maybe eight yards. Wildcats taking their first time out of the half. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. And down he goes around the 37-yard line. The option can be really tough to defend, but that time it was well played by the defense. Incomplete. Reed 
was the intended receiver on the play. And they're going to have to bring on the punt team. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down in a punt. Morris takes it at the 32. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. He did a good job there to give his team decent field position. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. He gets hit out of bounds at the 48-yard line. Call it a gain of five yards. That brings him second and five. From their own 48-yard line, it's second down. Looks to him again, complete. Tackle made at the 41. Gain of 11 on the play. First down. pass he's at the 20 they'll bring him down at the 15 yard line that was a nice play you know we talk about this every week adjusting to the blitz the quarterback and the receiver do an excellent job of recognizing the blitz and adjusting to the play good looking pass he's got his man across the middle touchdown Jayhawks Tacks on the extra point. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. Oklahoma and Oklahoma State in Bedlam. A tight game. Two relentless fighters exchanging blows. The Cowboys are on top. 3 nothing. And for Kansas State, they met up with the Sooners last week. Cohen has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. At the 30, he's pushed out of bounds around the 33-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Fires incomplete. I mean, he has his wide receiver wide open. You spend all those hours during the week to be able to get prepped and ready to go. You got an open man like this, just step and deliver and make the throw. He's going to try and scramble. And he's sacked. Perfect time to bring the freshman corner on a blitz. It's crazy to think that he was only in high school less than a year ago. From their own 31-yard line, it's third down. Aaron and out long. And he's got it. He's out of bounds at about the 15-yard line. That was more than enough to pick up the first down. Next time, this defense will be playing on their heels. Now it's first and 10 with a defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. his way out to about the six. The Wildcats use their second timeout. He's on the run. Decides to take it himself, and he's got it. Touchdown. Touchdown. He didn't see anyone open, so he just took it in himself. This quarterback is fearless, and the defense needs to either spy him or walk the safeties up when they've got the ball down near the goal line. Will be tied with the extra point. And he converts the extra point.
Bailey looks ready to kick this one off. From the seven, he makes it to the 28-yard line. They moved the ball very effectively on their last drive, which ended with a touchdown. The defense has been talking it over on the sideline, trying to make some corrections. Let's see if they can stop them this time. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. Play to half. We're deadlocked right now at 14. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Chris Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Both of these defenses are opportunistic. They're very good at forcing turnovers. But both quarterbacks, David, have done a very good job while trying to maintain an aggressive mindset. They haven't forced the ball. The runners have done a good job keeping it put away. Yeah, and as much as you preach that all throughout the week, it's still hard to do. It's hard to execute. And being able to see what you see on the defensive side of the football and adjust to it offensively, how about protecting the quarterback so he's not getting hit from the blind side, fumbling the football, ball carriers running with the football, keeping it tight to their body, not giving it away. So, you know, between running backs, receivers, and quarterbacks, offensive linemen blocking, did a great job executing on the offensive side of the football, not to, create, not to give away any turnovers. That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half of the game's going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kirk. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. It's fielded at the two. A tackle made at the 24-yard line. A lot of times you'll see teams start to clench up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. And he's stopped behind the line. That's a loss of two yards on the play. That brings up second and 13. From their own 22-yard line. Second down. And off up the middle. And they make the stop around the 31 yard line. They can make a few adjustments before their next series. Dukes is waiting for the snap. He got hit hard. He showed a good burst there. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. You gotta make every possession count. He's under pressure. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. That makes it second and ten. From their own 47-yard line. Second down. Here's a screen pass, gets it to the back. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 36-yard line. Some nice touch on that throw. 
a screen can be tricky to execute because you're actually allowing the defense to come right at you as a quarterback. And that's what you want. But one missed block, and it could easily result in lost yardage. From the 36-yard line, first down. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. Throws complete, and he's got space to work. He's taken down at the 24. First and ten. First and ten. Ball on the twenty-four. Here we go, here we go, here we go. And he's tackled at about the twenty-five yard line. Not a great throw by the quarterback, but to be fair, that was pretty good coverage. to his running back. Good tackle there in space. Game 13 on the play. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 12-yard line. Here's a throw. I don't think he got anything on that. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here. Recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. This is the eighth play of this drive. joins us in the studio with this update. Reese. The crimson and cream and the big orange of Oklahoma State battle in Bedlam. And we've been keeping an eye on this one all day. And for Oklahoma, a very lethargic performance so far. If they don't watch out, they're going to be in a world of hurt. Oklahoma State leads it 13-0. People were predicting some upsets this week, but I'd be shocked if that score holds up. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. The Jayhawks had one of their key players go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the lineup. And they push him out right around the 24-yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. He scrambles. Slides down. Denman gains about two yards on the scramble. From their own 26-yard line. Second down. Fires right side. Got his tailback. Tackle at the 26-yard line. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. He's scrambling. There he goes. Brought down at about the 41.
First and ten. Ball on the 41. Makes it out to about the 50. One quarter to go, and this looks like it could come down to the very end. Jayhawks with a three-point lead. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. And he's taken down at the 47 yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 47 yard line. He's into the open field. And down he goes at the 38. Trying to get it to the tight end, but it falls to the ground. Here's the eighth play of the series. Play number 10 on the drive. And he hits him hard at the 25. That'll bring up third and four. They're about four yards away here on third down. play of the drive. From the 15 yard line, it's second down. Just under three to go in regulation. He lets it fly. Touchdown! And that gives him the lead. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A quick update now. Here's Reese. The Sooners and the Cowboys clash in the Bedlam game. We've been watching this thing all day long. One word to describe this rivalry. Nasty. And for Robert, he's tossed it for more than 150 yards. The Cowboys are out front, 23-10. And for Kansas State, they met up with the Sooners last week. They line up to kick this one away. Price fields it at the two. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. The Jayhawks have got to be fired up how this game is going. They still got a chance to win. Well, you're talking about a huge underdog that's battled the entire game. They've got the football here to start this drive late with a chance to take the lead. You can't even imagine what this would do for this football team if they can put six points up on the field. Nice catch first down, and he's knocked out. 
first down. down. From their own 42-yard line, it's first down. On the ground, up the middle. He gets to about the 41-yard line. That makes it first and 10. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 41. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. They'll get him for a loss. They'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. From the 27 yard line, first down. Pulls it in, first down, and he's not going to bounce. I like it. They're not afraid to try this defense over the middle. The quarterback saw man coverage and gave his receiver a chance to make a play. They picked up the first down. I wouldn't be surprised to see them come back to that play. Setting up blockers or running backs. Got it on the screen. And they make the stop at the five-yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. throws it away. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Three, nine, three, nine. Four, three, four, three. I got it. Well, a lot of frustration by that but you've got to give the defense credit for coming up with a stop in this quarter in a game this close. Kansas will take their first time out of the half. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. We have less than a minute to go. He steps up. Wow, what a battle, and what a stop right there. Congratulations to that defense. That's going to be the ball game. It's always a gamble going for it with so many yards to come up with. But when you're behind, sometimes you have to take risks to get back into a ball game. A conversion there could have really helped them, but it just wasn't to be. Here we are late in the fourth quarter, and this is what this game has come down to. Every possession's going to count, and this could be the one right here. And he is drilled at the 22-yard line. Unselfish play by the quarterback as the option gives them a nine-yard gain. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Nice run up the middle. The defense had a great opportunity there, and they let it go. This is an offense that's clearly working clock. They've got to get more aggressive defensively and attack the line of scrimmage to be able to slow down this offense from getting first down. It takes a knee. It's second and 12. Ball on their own 26. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. He takes a knee, looking to take some time off that clock.
Really great game to watch. Both teams should be proud of their efforts in this one. 21-17, Kansas State. Kirk, go ahead and just give us your reflections on this game. They've talked about the rivalry all week long, and for good reason. We saw the intensity down on the field every play, and it showed us why these teams love to hate each other. It'll be interesting to see how this game carries over the next time they play. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.